Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector with another action figure review. And here we have the burnt Deadpool or the X-Force looking Deadpool from uh, Deadpool 2. Uh, after he got blasted by the kid with the fire fist, I forgot what he was called. Um, but yeah, here's the packaging. I got it a few days ago, I just haven't opened it. Uh, I've been busy with work and stuff like that. And I'm also working on the project back here, if you can see. Actually, I'm not going to show it to you. Um... If you guys want to guess what that is in the comments, you could go ahead. I'm um, working on it. It's 3D printing. I mean, it's almost done. The back piece of it is. But you can guess what it is, I guess. Um, but yeah, here's the Deadpool figure. Um, in the top left corner, we get the Marvel Legends logo there. We get the white outline around the gray road marks. Uh, you get this flame here from that Fire Fist kid. You get a X logo covered up with the uh, Deadpool sticker, and it says Wade Wilson uh, underneath that black black marking that it just crosses out and says Deadpool there. And then here's the side art with that same uh, Deadpool picture from the last review, except just completely blacked out. And then here's the back with the same thing with the Deadpool and Deadpool written down instead of Wade Wilson. Same picture on the other side. Here's the top with the X logo there. And you get this sticker covering up the Marvel Legends logo there. And you get some rust going on there. And then here's the bottom with the DCBI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here he is out of the packaging here. So yeah, it comes with a lot of accessories here first. So he comes with two fists of hands. Each hand comes with these metal plates covering his forehand there. So yeah, there's those. You get two sword holding hands here where it's mainly for holding the swords or knife and you get two of these like wall crawling looking hands but they're really just like waving hands you get two of those uh, he's wearing one right now in his other hand and you get two gun holding hands which he's also wearing one right now you get two of these blasters here i mean pistols here that don't look like actual pistols but if you do take off that it I guess you can consider that as like a little silencer there, but this mo looks more like a little Nerf gun. Um, but nothing real special. We've seen this with the other Deadpool figure. We've seen all of these with the other Deadpool figure. The only difference is the paint job. Um, but yeah. Um, and you get two of these swords here. Blacked out handle there. And you get the silver blade there. It's a little rough around the edges it looks like there. Yeah, see that? I'm not sure if you guys could see that, but I see it pretty clearly. Um, the other one, not as bad. It's actually a lot more cleaner. Um, and then you get uh, one tiny knife, completely blacked out handles with a silver blade. Um, but besides that, that's all we got for accessories. And so this is the same uh, body mold of the other Deadpool figure, which I will bring out and do a little comparison with but it's a complete same it's the complete same body mold same articulation and stuff like that but i like the difference here it's a darker um it's like a grayish it's like a dark grayish reddish color i guess like it was in the uh movie i looks a, i think it looks a little too much red in my uh, opinion uh, in camera, it looks more red, um, but in person, it looks a little bit more gray, but I think there's still a little too much red in it, so they should have just kept it, like, a little bit more, added a lot more gray into it, I think, um, but I think they did a good job on the paint job still, though. Uh, you get the silver, um, like, detailing here on, along that little buckle piece there. You get some silver detailing around this, the collar piece there. Um, you get the brown utility belt still. You get some more silver going on around there on the buckle too. You get the Deadpool logo. Uh, you get some magazines there. You get the freaking holsters again with the guns still stuck onto them. I don't know why they keep doing this. They should have just left, kept the, used these pistols instead of these. And then have the holsters be able to holster them actually. I've seen people modify them, but I just want to do it because I don't want to break them or anything like that. But I would, I wish they could just do that instead of freaking having them glued on there. It's kind of stupid. You get the little thing there, the white piece. Uh, you could color that off if you want. Um, you get the little knife holder there on, on his left ankle. 
You get his little strap around to hold on to his swords here. Here's the back piece. And then here's his other waving hand and the other gun holding hand. Nice white eyes. I think the paint job is pretty clean. Oh yeah, and you get some more detailing around there. Knee pads. Uh, kind of looks more brown. But besides that, that's what we got for like a it's basically just a paint job it's the same exact figure just a better paint job no a different paint job not the best not a better paint job i prefer the red they should have done a lot more gray for this figure like i said then it would have been really cool but it's not quite accurate to the look or coloring from the movie i think but uh let's go over his articulation real quick here so his head can hinge down that far he has like a little neck joint i feel like there for some reason that's something new that they've done uh his head can look up that far he can look left and right he can move his neck and uh head side to side he has uh his shoulders can move out that far down that far 360 rotation around there he has butterfly joints that go back that far forward now a whole lot he has a bicep swivel double jointed elbows no um pins for the joints so that's nice his wrist can hinge down. All right, this one goes side to side. So this one goes down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. Uh, for the other hands here, they, oh, this one goes side to side too. No, it goes up and down. So this one goes down that far, and this one goes up that far. 360 rotation around there too. Um, he has an ab crunch here. Let me get this other arm down real quick. Uh, ab crunch goes down that far, which is really good. Backwards really good uh he has a waist swivel that makes him go 360 around the waist there his legs could kick out that far probably could just take this out and maybe do it a little bit farther if you want kick forward that far backwards a decent amount he has a thigh cut double jointed knees still pins from the knees sadly um his ankles can hinge down that far up that far and nice ankle pivot and here's the burnt Deadpool next to the original Deadpool. So they're both the same height, same exact uh, molds and stuff like that. Same paint job, basically, too, actually. Yeah, same paint job besides the red part, but that's really it. So, yeah, I think this figure is a really cool figure uh, to add in. I wish it came with a two-pack, to be honest, with a another figure maybe like colossus that would have been cool maybe also uh what's his name uh juggernaut the prison one that would have been really cool i think they should have done a two-pack thing with that but they already did a two-pack with negasonic teenage warhead with deadpool so i i kind of it makes sense to make this be a single pack i guess but um besides that i wish they'd just add a little bit more gray to the red piece at least but besides that it's a really cool figure good uh, good amount of accessories and then also just great um, articulation but besides that that's all I got um, but if you guys could check out my twitch it's the hunter collector I do video games uh, I do call of duty Warzone, cold war uh, fortnite I'm gonna be doing avengers since they're adding in a lot more content now and then also a few other things I'm doing little nightmares too uh, still a lot more to do too so, but besides that, that's all I got.